Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we'll be going over a review of Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference for the year 2012. And this just happened on June 11th, and it lasted for a few hours starting at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 10 o'clock Pacific Time. So here in the images we do have some of the people lining up at WWC 2012. Most of these people are developers for iOS games or any applications or are iOS developers on the Mac platform or really just want to see some of the new updates in person of Apple's new products. So here we do have some still shots of some people in the lobby getting some free food. Complimentary, of course. Uh, the place where they're at in San Francisco, I do believe, very nice place. Here we do have Mac, or excuse me, OS X. They are now dropping the Mac name from the actual platform and right now we are in the conference room where they will be going over all of their new and upcoming demos of new Mac products and new software. So as the video does begin here we do have Siri coming to us kind of explaining what will be going on and then Tim Cook joins us here on stage saying this is our 23rd WWDC conference there's been over 400 million store activations along with 30 billion downloaded apps and this has made f uh, $5 billion of revenue for iOS developers and they're pretty much just thanking us for all our hard work that we've done. So first off is the Intel Core i5 and i7 processors. You now have a 512 gigabytes of flash with 500 megabytes per second. That's two times of an increase. We have USB 3.0 along with 11 inch MacBook Pro the 13 inch MacBook Air, excuse me, and now we do have the third core generation which is the Sandy Bridge for the MacBook Pro lineups. We do have the 13 the and the 15 inch, no 17 inch because now we do have a next generation MacBook Pro. With it will become Retina Display. Now this is the highest Retina Display on a MacBook Pro that we've ever seen along with its size. It's probably half the distance as a normal 2011 MacBook Pro. It does come with a retina display and 220 pixels per inch. This is great for multiple uh, apps such as a Parger or Final Cut Pro, Photoshop. Uh, on the back, we now have a new redefined uh, flash up to 768 gigabytes, and the battery has been increased to seven hours. You have an SD card slot, an HDMI, and USB 3.0, along with some uh, adapters. Here is a face down of the MacBook Pro. And all these pictures are brought to you by CNET. Now we do have a redefined uh, air cooling system for the MacBook Pro with its new Retina display. And next up is OS X Mountain Lion. Now there's 40% of users on Lion right now and 125 million of these are iCloud. And now you can store documents in the cloud and the SDK will be coming today. This is the software developer kit for developers to kind of start experimenting with iOS 6 and Mac OS X um, 10.6, I do believe. So now we do have messages. Right now you could have gotten this in beta. And now dictation. This is separate from Siri, but you'll still be able to talk to your computer and it will type out words that you do say. We do have some Twitter integration into the Safari for OS X and a whole new redefined Safari browser on our Mac here. Here we do have the dictation being used and now we do have a new option known as Power Nap. This allows you to silence all your operations without your fans running in the background to really put your uh, Mac asleep. We do have AirPlay mirroring so right now we do have a eraser here trying to beat out the dev here and this will be only for $19.99, so $20 for the software, really cheap. I'm glad that they did do that. Next, we're on to iOS 6. Now, iOS 6 beta is available today for developers, and there are going to be very satisfied customers over the brand. Now, we do have some new upgrades, including Siri functionality for giving you um, places of interest along with sports updates for different baseball teams, football, hockey, etc. Next up we do have Siri. Now this will be a whole new capability of hands-free when you are driving in the car and a number of car manufacturers have already optimized this new Siri input. There will now be Facebook integration 
into iOS 6 so you can tweet about purchases you made in the App Store or if you want to, or not tweet about, sorry, post on Facebook or anything like that. You now have a new Remind Me or a Do Not Disturb for you when you want phone calls or text messages sent to you. FaceTime is now over 3G finally and now we do have some new smart app banners such as like Yelp and it does take into consideration the landscape mode as in that picture of ESPN. You now have an edit VIP and you can insert a photo or a video right into that. Now we do have a new guided access. Now this does come with new maps that are brought to you by TomTom, Tom, not Google anymore. So they give, it give you incident reports, turn by turn and navigation along with 3D mapping. Now Siri will also be integrated into this so we'll give you the turn by turn navigations for the 3D mapping allowing you to figure out wherever you are with these amazing quality images. Now they will tell you how far you've been, how close you have already been and with iOS 6 there's over 200 features that will be available today for beta developers. If you do want to get your hands on iOS 6 early, I will have a video in the upcoming where you can register your, your UDID and get these all for free. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.